Let me get myself ready, y'all. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, RDS, and let's... We're that close to the premiere of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Who is not excited for this? I know I gotta be rocking a print shirt, color purple. <laughs> But we about to jump into this trailer, y'all. I'm too geeked to even wait even longer. Let's go. Strange, it's time. In 10 days, nothing can prepare you for the truth. Everything you've ever known. Thank you to this moment. Sorry, I'm going to be pausing. Sorry, y'all. Didn't try to go there. In ten days, nothing can prepare you for the truth. Everything you. Well, I gotta take a look at this. Is that Rachel McAdams? I believe that's her. Is she, or is that Elizabeth Olsen? Seem like she's floating or she's standing. Not sure. But I'm guessing he finna do this multiverse thing again. He finna change it all around. This guy just doesn't learn, y'all. Ever know that you to this moment. Stephen Strange. The Illuminati will see you now. <gasps> the Illuminati. Okay, I have read the comic books and I know there are different Illuminati's in different universes and I know um, I know Iron Man uh, oh, it, Okay, Iron Man is the leader of one and I believe uh, Steve Rich, I'm not sure his name from Vantaxi, I think he's the leader of another. Then you got Patrick Stewart, who's over X Men. He's the leader of one. Then it's someone else. I know there's different versions of the Illuminati in the universe, in the multiverse. So we're going to see if they're going to stick with that and really go based off the comic books. But they might go a different direction because you know how movies are made. But so far, so good. They have been sticking with the comic books. And let's just hope they stick with it with this movie. But let's let's finish this. Marvel Studios, Doctor Strange, with PG-13, see it in premium March format and IMAX, May 6th. All right, we gotta watch this one more time, y'all. Strange, it's time. In ten days, nothing can prepare you. Hold on. I think he's just jumping all over the place. Sorry. Sorry. It's time. In ten days, nothing can prepare you for the truth. Everything you've ever known led you to this moment. Stephen Strange. The Illuminati will see you now. Marvel Studios, Doctor Strange, rated PG-13. See it. Hmm. Sorry about that. My thing was jumping everywhere. I apologize. But yeah, that part gave me goofbumps. You know, you know, Stephen Strange seeing Illuminati. 
Mm. And I've been doing a lot of, you know, reading and looking at a lot of other reactors react to this. Well, not to this particular one. This is the first time that I've seen about the other ones. And Wanda's character, I heard she's supposed to do a lot of killing in this movie. And if they stick with the comic books, the way they portray it in the comic book, she's supposed to kill a lot of people in the Illuminati. So we're going to see how this... I hope they don't. I hope she doesn't kill off Xavier... Uh, hopefully, uh, Tony Stark is going to be played by Tom Cruise. I mean, everyone wants to see Robert Downey Jr. come back in that role, but I highly doubt it. I think it is going to be Tom Cruise. That's the report going around that he is going to be starring in that role. Because from what I heard, he was uh, up for that role as Iron Man but they decided to give it to Robert Downey Jr., which was the best decision because he's the best ever to do it. There's no one that's going to be better than Robert Downey Jr. in that role. But, uh, man, this this uh, movie looks good. It'll be out next month. Of course, your boy going to be there on the first day. Shit, I'm calling off work to go see that. If you're going to, don't be out there calling off work, y'all. Don't listen to me. But I'm going to call off work to go see it. And I don't care who's following me and seeing me on my channel. Yes, I'm calling off work. Because I know all this, they watch me on my channel now. But uh, hopefully I'm not scheduled that day. But yeah, I'm definitely going to check this out. And the reason I say I'm calling off work. Because if it comes out on the day that I work. The first day. Then I'm going. I'm calling off. Simple as that. I'm not missing this. I am not missing this movie. Ah oh, man, I'm excited, y'all. I was just looking at uh Tyrone Magnus, his uh reaction to the first um trailer that came out. Dude is hilarious, man. He is hilarious. I know a lot of people follow Tyrone Magnus. He's you know he's big on YouTube. He's actually uh into movies itself. I watched one of his movies. A couple months back it was it was a low rated movie because he's in, not in the big huge movies he's in those low rated B movies but it, it was okay he, he acted okay in it he was all right so uh until next time let me know what y'all think of the movie are y'all anticipating you know the multiverse of madness and also hit me up and let me know what's y'all favorite character and who y'all looking forward to seeing it's always peace, love, and deuces.